We present a novel method for synthesizing karstic networks. Karsts are a type of landscape formed by the dissolution of rocks such as limestones. In particular, they are characterized by complex underground networks made of a variety of tunnels and breakout chambers. Their formation is influenced by multiple geological parameters such as inception horizons, fractures, and the presence of a water table, which delimits the Vidose and phreatic zone of the karst. The main contributions of this paper are a framework for modeling karstic systems taking into account geological parameters, an implicit modeling approach with new primitives and operators for modeling the detailed geometry of the tunnels, an interactive authoring framework for tuning the network and its geometry. We start from an initial height field terrain, a set of key points, and geological parameters such as inception horizons and the water table. We first generate a 3D geometric graph connecting those key points using an anisotropic shortest path algorithm. The graph is then simplified using a 3D gamma skeleton approach, amplified with dendritic structures, and labeled according to its geometrical and geomorphological parameters. Finally, the detailed geometry of the karst is generated using an implicit modeling approach. We first describe the construction of a path connecting two points into the bedrock. Sampling is a crucial step for approximating the continuous anisotropic shortest path problem. We first distribute samples according to geological features such as horizons. The remaining space is filled with a Poisson sphere distribution, and the nearest neighbor graph is constructed. The cost function takes into account geological parameters such as inception horizon. Permeability, modeled as a 3D function pi. And finally, fracture orientations that influence the trajectory of the tunnels. To construct the karstic skeleton S, we first compute the complete graph between all key points. We then prune this graph based on an empty region criterion. We use a gamma skeleton formalism using a non-Euclidean metric. The gamma parameter gives control over the density of the karstic skeleton. We then amplify the karstic skeleton with dendritic structures, and classify all graph edges. Amplification is done by distributing new key points inside the neighborhood of S, then connecting them to S. For each graph edge, we finally compute the tunnel type and radius depending on its geometrical and geomorphological parameters. We then synthesize the detailed geometry of the tunnels using an implicit modeling approach. Our method relies on a hierarchical construction tree that procedurally defines a signed distance function. We first convert the input elevation model into a signed distance function, then we generate the geometry of the karstic conduits. Depending on their tortuosity, tunnels are either modeled as sweep primitives from generic cross-sections, or as unions of spheres. This scheme guarantees that the resulting signed distance function is continuous and one Lipschitz. Our method allows us to reproduce a wide variety of tunnels with different cross-sections as identified in geology. Finally, we show some results of our method. Here are some offline, and interactive results. Canyon tunnels appear in the Vidose part of the karst above the active water table. Keyhole tunnels are very characteristic shapes and appear under similar conditions. This bed tunnel is partially filled with water inside the phreatic part of the karst. Finally, here is an exterior view of a cave entrance, continuing inside a keyhole tunnel and leading to a large shaft. We compare our method against real karstic networks and manage to reproduce a wide variety of network types, as identified in geomorphology. We show an interactive editing session. Here, the user placed multiple key points in the scene.
A karstic skeleton linking all those key points is then generated. The user might change the gamma parameter to control the density of the network. Fracture orientations can also be tuned interactively. Here is an another network made from three entrances and two sinks. An inception horizon has been placed by the user which greatly influence the trajectory of the tunnels. Axis aligned fractures also make the network more rectilinear. We can apply multiple amplification step to get a more complex network with new dead end tunnels. Tunnels are then subdivided using a midpoint displacement algorithm parameterized by the tortuosity, which has been used to characterize karstic systems in geomorphology.